Welcome to the episode of the Micro Movie Review. I am your host, Ricky Valera. On today's episode, I'm going to review the brand new film, The Protégé. Rescued as a child by a legendary assassin, Moody, and trained in the family business, Anna is the world's most skilled contract killer. But when Moody, the man who was like a father to her and taught her everything she needs to know about trust and survival, is brutally killed, Anna vows revenge. The film was directed by Martin Campbell, starring Michael Keaton, Maggie Q, and Samuel L. Jackson. My expectations for this film were rather low. This film seems, on the surface, like a movie we had seen before. And when watching it, it gives you that vibe as well. But Michael Keaton single-handedly makes this film ten times better than it probably ever should have been. Early on in the film, he felt out of place. It was, you have this legendary actor with some of these other miscellaneous pieces and he's out acting everybody. But as the film unfolds, him, Maggie Q, and Samuel Jackson all put together really take this film to another level. But then you factor in Martin Campbell's direction and how he directed this fantastic action like this. That doesn't worry you. No. Why? I didn't come here for money. I came here for you. The writing of Anna, our lead character who is played by Maggie Q, really had some highs and lows. Thankfully, the lows were at the beginning of the film because as Maggie Q seemed to get more comfortable in this role and kind of take over the role, you really start to like her character a lot more. The action sequences with her are phenomenal. Just breathtaking. There's one scene where she's locked up and they're getting ready to try to kill her and she just goes on this dynamic kick-ass scene and it's very small quarter so Mark Campbell shoots it perfectly but it's easily one of the better action scenes that I have seen in recent films. Overall, the film is good. The issues with the film are like that first 15 minutes. And from then on, it kicks serious ass all the way until the end. The ending is terrible. So bad. You get so excited because this film is so good. And it's like, man, this is a surprise. This is fantastic. And then the ending just kind of falls flat. But overall, it is a fun action film. I will say the biggest lesson of the movie, make sure you look both ways before crossing the street. I give the film a solid B and the protege is in theaters on Friday.